What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and this is Fan Made Exotics, the only series that lets you submit your exotic weapon, armor, ghost shell, or heck, any Destiny exotic idea, and have a chance for realistic concept art to be made for it. Now that's because I've partnered with the artist Benjamin Radiman, who makes these amazingly realistic exotic concepts. His deviant art will be linked in the description down below. Below. Now before I start anything, the first thing I want to say which is very important is that we're doing something a little bit different with the submissions. Usually I'll make a comment and everyone replies to that comment with their idea, but in today's video for this episode, we're going to try something a little bit different. Instead of doing that, all you guys need to do to submit your exotic idea is simply post it in the normal comment section. So just make a comment with your exotic idea. Please remember to include its name, a description of what it's all about that will help, anything that will help Benjamin know, you know, what design features to incorporate, the exotic perk, and likely include the rest of the perks, the gun archetype, all of that stuff that isn't necessary, but it shows that you've actually thought about your your idea and how it would fit into the game. Now, moving on, however, we are going to get on to five featured exotics that all came from the comment section of last week's video. Now, after that, we're going to go over some tips for getting your idea selected. And lastly, we're going to show off all of the different creations that were made since last episode. But guys, before we start on any of that stuff, remember, if you enjoy this series and want to see more, please remember to support it by simply rating and especially sharing sharing this video. And if you're planning to submit an idea, make sure you're doing it on the newest video. If there's a newer video than this one, an annotation will appear right now leading you to it. Now let's get started here with the first featured concept, the Vituperation, exotic scout rifle concept by Rel the Infinity Theorem. Now this weapon has a few unique perks, the first one being an exotic passive perk called Vituperation. This weapon fires in full auto and regenerates ammo straight from the magazine. So that's actually pretty interesting. And you may be thinking, well, that seems very, very good. It just constantly regenerates ammo. But of course, we don't actually know the rate of regeneration. It could regenerate ammo at a kind of slower pace. So if you shoot five bullets, you'll see, you know, a bullet appear and then another one and then another one, stuff like that, so that if you get in a heavy firefight where you're expelling a lot of ammunition, you're still going to have to reload this weapon. But if you shoot, you know, half the magazine, you may want to take the risk, not reload, and make sure that you aren't caught in a situation when you are reloading. So that is a pretty interesting idea, something that isn't played on too much, other than, of course, the icebreaker would be the closest thing to it. It also has the exotic perk, Condemnation. What this does is that after a precision kill, this weapon will do bonus damage for body shots for around 7 seconds. This is really interesting because it's a neat way to have a damage bonus without being, well, blatantly overpowered. The thing about a damage bonus is that you really risk having an unbalanced weapon in PvP. But, if you're only increasing body shot damage, you aren't really messing up the time to kill. The time to kill is probably still going to be superior to get all headshots. This is how Destiny is. Precision shots give you so much more damage. Increasing body shot damage is still very useful. It's going to make this weapon so much more consistent. You can miss a few headshots, but still land that optimum time to kill. But it won't increase the native time to kill, therefore won't really make it, you know, tragic overpowered so that's actually a very interesting way of applying a damage bonus and I definitely like that idea now moving on the next featured concept is the peacekeeper exotic sniper rifle concept by bandit nation this sniper rifle is kind of reminiscent of the No Land Beyond. It's going to be an old school a sniper that doesn't really have a scope, but rather you utilize its iron sights. However, it will of course actually be in the special slot. Its first exotic perk is an exotic passive perk called Immovable. Now what this perk does is 
that it massively reduces the flinch you get when aiming down sights with this weapon. And that totally makes sense when you're utilizing a sniper rifle that just uses iron sights, you know, just like the No Land Beyond has much less flinch than normal. This weapon also needs a little bit of help actually competing. Otherwise, you know, any shot from a scout rifle or a pulse rifle would just fling the sights right off target and that would be disastrous. Its other perk, its other exotic perk, I should say, is Enforcer. Upon getting a triple kill, a piercing round is added into the magazine. If this round hits and passes through another enemy, it will damage both the second enemy and the main enemy for half the damage. Now, this is definitely a spin off of the Zen Meteor exotic perk, where getting a triple kill will introduce an explosive round that just does a crap ton of explosive damage. This is just the piercing round version of that perk. However, let's be honest, if Bungie is introducing Avoidance Solar Thunderlord, we can have different spins on existing exotics for goodness sakes. Now I do like this idea, I don't like the fact that it only does half the damage, I think that's totally unnecessary. Um, getting a triple kill is quite the requirement, it certainly is for the Zen Meteor, and then that piercing round is actually pretty cool, I would love to see it go through light to medium cover as kind of your reward for getting a triple kill. Again, not super easy, like getting this weapon and actually going to town in PvP and getting a proper triple kill, especially if it's not just three kills, especially if you actually have to trigger the triple kill medal and it's three quick kills, that's a hard thing to ask. It would be very fun to use and it could definitely still be useful. Like the No Land Beyond exotic perk doesn't really come up that much. You're mainly using the base weapon and this could be the same, but still interesting idea and I would love to see more kind of heavy hitting and unique snipe rifles like this in the game. Now moving on, we have the Infantasm Theorem, exotic scout rifle concept by Leroy Jenkins 12. This weapon has the exotic perk, the Infinite Theorem. 60% of missed shots are returned to the magazine and it grants persistence, which means that this weapon gains accuracy as it's shot continually. It also has, of course, full auto. So this is kind of interesting because it's a super good advice, like a very little used um, heavy machine gun where if you miss a shot, it's returned directly to the magazine. This is a little bit of a calm down version of that but in scout rifle full auto scout rifle form and I wonder if that would actually make a weapon like this an idea kind of like that see more play a full auto scout rifle you know if it has great stability which uh, the creator is claiming it does is like already quite good full auto good stability for a scout rifle it's already probably gonna see play but then you add on okay you also have the fact that if you do miss a shot is added basically a 6% chance to be added right back to the magazine, which means that you can shoot this weapon very, very consistently and continually. And that actually screams to me, not only would it be good in PvP just because full auto, very accurate, but also that screams PvE. Having any primary weapon that has that continuous fire capability has stuff that can let it out damage and continually damage enemies and just keep up your DPS. Like, you know, if you're fighting an enemy, Vosik actually does come to mind where he just randomly ducks right or left or he just, you get a uh, hit, a weird hit on him and he kind of like goes down a little bit and you start missing. But those misses are now gonna be added directly back to the magazine, which is definitely useful. I like the idea of this remade, reformatted, super good advice perk on a primary weapon and a totally different weapon than the super good advice at that and I think it is an interesting idea. Now moving on from there, we have the Cryptic Code, exotic sidearm concept by Soul Ninja 7. This weapon is basically, as you can see, a scraped together assortment of SIVA and Axis components. It's kind of like, you know, formatting all of these powerful mods to this gun and it looks hideous. Hideous but effective. It's exotic perk, it has a few exotic perks. It has the exotic main perk, the time is now. Respawning gives you increased movement speed until you attack or take damage. I love 
that perk. I think it's such a cool perk for PvP play. It is perfect for an objective focused player. It lets you get to the B flag before like anyone else because you would have this effective upon just spawning into a game. If you're playing control, you, like the instant you spawn in, the match starts and you have this weapon, you're going to have more movement speed than anyone else for a short time. Again, as soon as you start shooting someone, as soon as you take damage, that is going to go away. But having that little bit of increased movement speed, again, is awesome for giving you an edge to get to that objective first. And it's not, you know, an incredibly overpowered perk. It seems, you know, you're giving up your exotic slot to be able to do that. But it is something I think PvP players would really be interested in running in those objective games. Furthermore, it has the exotic perk Armageddon. Kills with this weapon increase your maximum sprint speed as well as your damage for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Now of course, damage, mm, well, we'll talk about that later. Damage again is ripe for abuse and you can't have too much of a damage increase or it would just be obscene. Some damage increase, that's fine, but we'll have to mess around with the numbers later. But the increase to maximum sprint speed I actually really like and again it kind of emphasizes this weapon's role as an objective player's dream basically. Off of respawn you get bonus speed, when you actually kill an enemy yes that perk goes away but then you get an increase to your maximum sprint speed. It just lets you get around the battlefield fast and potentially be more mobile than other normal players and if you're playing titan and combine this with titan skating my god that's a wombo combo i would love to see that but regardless it's a very interesting take on the idea of increasing your mobility and movement speed in destiny now moving on i wouldn't quite say i've left the best for last but we do have a really cool idea as the final featured exotic concept it's the icarus bow exotic fusion rifle concept by lindstrom now this weapon does have a few unique perks, with the first one being an exotic intrinsic perk, Man Made Wings. While aiming down sights with this weapon, you can suspend yourself in the air for a few seconds. Must be looking down the scope when you're doing this, and it lasts a few seconds. So we do have that ability. Firstly, it's one of the subclass nodes in the Sunsinger for the Warlock. It lets you aim down sights with a weapon and you'll stay high covered for a little bit. Also, the Imperial Bellicose, I believe, exotic Titan helmet lets you do that as well. But this, putting it in the hands of a weapon, lets anyone do it, no matter what class you're playing, no matter what subclass you're playing, so it opens up a lot of very unique gameplay opportunities. This is combined with the exotic perk, Too Close to the Sun. Your charge rate is faster while in midair, and kills with this gun while in midair resets your jump cooldown, but increases your fall damage. So, what you can do with this weapon is jump in the air, aim down sights, pick off an enemy, and actually jump again. Like, it'll reset your jump. Which means that, oh my goodness, the possibilities for doing that and just being all around the map, hovering in the air, seem so much fun. Now, of course, you do have to get a kill. You have to be in the air, completely exposed. Like, there's no cover to hide behind when you're in the middle of the air. You pick off an enemy with a shot from this fusion rifle, and then you can jump again, reset, and hopefully do it again. Keep jumping for some insane wombo combos, and holy crap, if this gun was introduced... I guarantee there'd be like kill streaks with this thing that would always show up, you know, in the top of the Destiny movie of the week and stuff like that. It would just be so fun to see the highlights of people using a weapon like this. This weapon would also lead to some really cool gameplay tactics in PvE. It's a lot easier to pick off an enemy in PvE. You just have to kill a thrall or whatever, and I picture people using this weapon getting to some very interesting spots. People who like to glitch out of the map and stuff would absolutely love using this gun. Now guys, that's it for the featured exotics in this episode. Now moving on to some tips for those of you planning to submit your idea. Firstly, try to self-regulate your idea. Make sure it's not overpowered. Getting a kill and instantly getting an overshield is going to be a little bit much, especially for PvP. Also, try to make sure that your idea is realistic for Destiny. Getting a kill and turning into a dragon is something we're not ever going to see. 
Thirdly, try to make sure that your idea isn't overly complicated. You can certainly have unique ideas, but if you're writing paragraphs and paragraphs trying to explain what your weapon does and every perk is unique and it would take me 10 minutes to explain your weapon, you're not going to get selected. But, however, lastly, really don't be afraid to go well out of the norms when it comes to creating weapons. Don't think that you have to just create auto rifles, scout rifles, etc. You can make laser rifles, SMGs, whatever you want. Pretty much everything is open in that regard. Now, moving on, we're going to shout out all of the ideas that were made since the last episode. With the first one being the Vaquero, exotic scout rifle concept by Jared Hayes. After that, we have the Super Stinger Type 2, heavy snipe rifle concept by Controla Skills. After that, we have the Timeless Wonder, exotic pulse rifle concept by King Kapuya. After that, we have the Duplicy Vita, exotic sniper shotgun by Dusty P9. Moving on from there, we have finally the Domino Effect, exotic rocket launcher concept by I've Gone Fishing. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Fan Made Exotics. Again, remember, if you enjoy this series and want to see more, please remember to support it. If you guys want to see Destiny content similar to this and don't want to miss out on the next episode of Fan Made Exotics, make sure to slap that subscribe button. And also make sure to press the little bell beside it so that you're notified of new uploads. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.